Hello, golf friends. Gary Bates here from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. Thank you for tuning in to Tour Swing Tuesday. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So up here we have Lucas Glover just coming off his win at the John Deere this past week. First win in 10 years. Phenomenal. So I want to talk about his swing. I want to talk about a key position in the swing. And then I want to talk about mindset at the end. So let's take a look at this motion. Very good. Okay, so low hands right here. Good tilt from the hips, right? That looks very good to me. I like that. Little flex in the knees. Uh, as he takes it back. Now, this is kind of interesting, but it's good overall. Now, he takes his hands inside, which brings the club a little outside. So hands in, club out. I like that. I think it keeps you from being too handsy. Uh, Ray Floyd was one that really kind of snatched the club away. Uh, hands went outside, club went inside. He was very streaky. So uh, that's an example of something a little different. I like this. Club face one, one o'clock on the clock. If I can tell time, that's good. A little opening then of the club, right? So you're going to see why that works for him. Taking it back, hinging his wrists. Right, nice turn, not a real long swing. This is the top of his swing right here. And what do you notice? A little bow in that left wrist, a la John Rum and Dustin Johnson. They play pretty good with it. And a little more upright. So this is very much going to be what David Ledbetter talks about with the A swing. Okay, so club kind of going up and then dropping back on plane. And so if you saw my Facebook post about Bobby Jones, he wrote a lot about this where the club gets flat and he calls it a vertical drop. Now, does a vertical drop happen because of your lower body or because of your arms dropping? And the answer to me would be yes. It's a blend of both. Uh, Nick Faldo and Nick Price swung like this in the 80s and 90s. Did okay. Okay, moving down then. So here's that flattening, right? Really dropping it down. This is a great image for you all that want to draw the ball. And he does, Lucas Glover, right? So dropping the club way inside for you. Now, I always talk about real and feel being very different. I was working with a student the other day. He couldn't believe how much he had to flatten it to get a small change. So you have to exaggerate something to a huge amount to get a small change. And that's where video comes in. Okay, good position. Club on the shaft line, plane on the hand line. Nice delivery here into impact. Very good strike right here. Hips rooting out of the way. Shoulders lining up, compression with the head. So he's using the ground as a force, right? Compressing into the ground. That's cool. We like that. We see that with a lot of good players. And here's a position that I want you to look for and watch. If you slice the ball, this is something I work a lot on with people. Here's a very good position. I like to do this with a 9-3 to three swing. As you see that face at about 10 o'clock. So the toe of the club on a clock. And again, we're doing a lot of clock work here. <laughs> Uh, 10 o'clock on the clock, right? That means the face turned over, right? So that doesn't necessarily uh, show you maybe anything in and of itself. It shows you what happened before, right? So he rotated his forearms. His body and arms worked together to close the club face. So he had some opening and closing. I think that developed speed. I prefer that as, to, as opposed to taking it back close and not getting any forearm rotation. The average person, I don't think, does well with that. Okay, so... Rotating over up on the right toe. Very good strike. Beautiful comeback for him. You know, here's what I want to talk about mindset. And Lucas Glover, thank you for persevering. You're a great uh, object lesson for us. Ten years it took him to win again. Wins in 2009 U.S. Open. 2011 he wins again. He hasn't won in ten years. Folks, to have the proper mindset, you're going to have to have three things. You're going to have to have good technique. Work on your technique. You're going to have to have a measure of talent, not a ton. You're going to have to be tenacious. You're going to have to stick with it and persevere through ch swing changes, through injuries, through bad play. Stay the course. Stay with it. This is your time to shine. Any information you need, Gary Bates Golf Academy over on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, love for you to subscribe. Join the community. We have fun. Hope these videos help you. I mean, if you're a serious player, we're going to talk about things that are going to really help you get your game. Okay? So, hit the subscribe button. And we love to hear from you as always. I love your comments. I, re I reply to them pretty quickly, don't I? If you're out there. Okay. So God bless you. Thank you. If anything you need, hey, feel free to reach out. We'll look forward to seeing you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.